New at 630, it is the largest public works project in the history of the region, and you're paying for it. Alcasan, the Allegheny County Sanitary Authority, is spending $2 billion over the next decade and a half to clean up our rivers and streams. But will that do the job? When that money is all spent and the project is done, the river still won't be clean. About 2 billion gallons of sewage-laden wastewater will still be pouring into the waterways every year. Some environmental groups want to do more, but KDK investigator Andy Sheehan says the question is, can we afford to? The news is disappointing. Every time it rains, our antiquated combined storm and sanitary sewer system overflows. Millions of gallons of sewage-laden wastewater pours into our rivers and streams. Nine billion gallons of contaminated wastewater every year. And even Alcasan's $2 billion plan to clean up the rivers won't capture it all. Even when it is fully implemented by Alcasan's own projections, there will still be 2.7 billion gallons of sewage overflows pouring into the Pittsburgh area's rivers and streams every single year. These environmentalists are chiding Alcasan for taking too long and doing too little. Over the next 14 years, Alcasan will continue doubling the size of its treatment plant then building some 15 miles of underground catchment tunnels to capture most of that wastewater, but not all of it. No amount of sewage that enter our waterways that is acceptable. We need to strive for the complete elimination of sewage in our waterways. To that end, they're proposing a mass expansion of so-called green infrastructure to capture stormwater before it flows into and overloads the system. Projects like this rain garden are porous sidewalks which trap runoff. Still, in relation to billions of gallons of overflow and in small numbers, they're the proverbial drop in the bucket. In order for green infrastructure to be effective, we need a lot of it. Question is, who would pay for it? These groups are looking to the state's allocation of federal infrastructure funds, but may have to get in line behind decaying bridges, roads, and other needs. They note that some municipalities charge businesses and homeowners so-called stormwater fees, but the proposal doesn't sit well with some, like Shaler Township Manager Tim Rogers. Too much on the backs of residents already. And we're hearing, and I, I'm chairman of our water authority. To pay for the project as it is, Alcasan has been increasing your bill by 7% every year. And most sewage authorities are tacking on increases of their own. Rogers and others say they're not about to ask for more funds for green infrastructure. If you're saying municipalities need to step up, we are stepping up. So adding yet another layer of uh, environmental requirements at this time is not reasonable. Well, the ratepayers are already paying for this plan. Now you're asking them to pay for all this green infrastructure. Well, either we deal with the problem now or we do nothing about it, it becomes worse and we'll all wind up paying for it in the long run anyway. Alcasan says its rate payers are already stretched. We're having to raise rates um, every year now uh, to, to pay for these activities. You know what you see behind us with the plant construction going on, the tunnel uh, uh, projects that are going to be coming up very soon, uh, you know that's very expensive. Someday the rivers may be completely devoid of sewage waste, but Alcasan says this $2 billion construction project is just about all ratepayers can afford. Anything after that will need to find additional sources of funding. Reporting at the Alcasan Treatment Plant, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.